What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome back to our walkthrough for the Tengu's Disciple. So, we're going to be jumping into Shadow's Creep in Kurama, picking up six more of those little Kodamas for us. Actually, a pretty, pretty interesting mission. Um, the visual design here, there's a lot of verticality for a side mission, which is something we don't see a lot, so pretty enjoyable. All right, now one thing I want to touch on before we get going here, if you haven't already, keep in mind that we are, of course, in a new region, and as such, being in a uh, new region, make sure you go and pick up a Kodama Blessing. If you're still leveling, obviously, Oracle Blessing is always great to have on. Pull in some extra Amrita. Uh, but anyway, we're going to run on ahead. Let's grab this. There's a fake Kado right here. Uh, and these are the, the anima fruits. So when you drop them, it's just going to create a little anima puddle, which you can then get rid of. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you any anima, which is kind of ass. Uh, so we're going to be going in that shrine, but instead, for now, just sprint past it and come up here. Take down Yamnaba. We're going to grab this. And then we're going to plunge the baddie. chest and then here let's get rid of that little spider camera's moving so fast kill that gaki and grab this Now we're going to go back up for real this time. Pop him in the head. I'm going to wait for Mr. Krabs to expose himself. and then go outside here for the first Kodama. I'm sort of loop around. Go up here. campus. It's finally starting to feel like dual blades now. Alright, so now that we have that, um, if we had dropped down we would just be right here anyway. This is a shortcut we're going to get a little bit later. Instead, we have a Kuroka Lantern. This is the one that has the... Uh, right there. Here we got an ambush. Chest. All right. 
point, and then... Uh... Oh, it's on the bridge. I'm like, wait a minute, I don't have an enemy here in my notes. Grab this from where we shot that Gaki in the head. And over this way, this should be a Tengu. Nice little shortcut open from the shrine. All right, uh, so we're gonna loop around and kill stuff going up. We got a couple spiders we're gonna fight past. And some more baddies over here. There's an achievement related to these. I don't know. Knock them all down. Something you can knock down, you might as well, right? Alright, um, kill stuff, go up, swing left for Kodama 2. After the ladder. Oh, right over there. Kodama 2. Mmm, Moon Shadow. I can now annihilate all humans. Right, and a good old fart rat. Remember, if you get the poop debuff, don't heal. Wait till that rolls falls on off to heal. And head on up. Lanterns is a Kuroka, so trying to lure this guy on over so I don't uh, pop the Kuroka prematurely. Alright, buddy. I think it's this one. Yeah, you can always tell because it. No, it was that one. Can't let him leave. Last thing I want is for him to pop up later. So we came around. This will just bring us right back up here. Uh, same path, basically. Mm 
All right, next we have a dark zone. And the host for the dark zone is going to be the Tengu. That's kind of towards the back. Looks like he's up top right now. That's fine. So we are going to just bum rush that Tengu. And uh, drop an Otakamaru on him. Anyway, I'm dead. Grab up all this. Um, we should have Kodama number three now available over here. This guy. And then we'll grab the thing behind here so we don't have to come back. Now there's two ways to approach this next area. Um, you can either just kind of go that way. Or you can take the shrine path. I'd recommend doing the shrine path first. Um, by shrine, I'm talking about this thing right here in front of us, not the actual shrine that we are resting at right now. This guy is oblivious. Tangu Fog. No, not Tangu Fog. This is a... Uh, do, do, do. Not a Hagane. Even easier. that open we're gonna keep going this way and now we're basically above the area whereas we would have come in from below coming from the other side so I'm gonna make things a little bit easier for tackling this, this zone uh, we're gonna be getting this shortcut open first Very first thing we want to do is lure this guy over. The reason is if we fight him over there, those baby spiders that came running over. They'll just jump on you in the middle of the fight, so it just makes things a little bit trickier. Anyway, with the spiders dead, we can tackle this guy. Grab this. Um, we're gonna go over here to kick this down. 
this path, that's uh, over there. That's where, uh, or no, this is where the, the bell was. Never mind. Where we got that one Kodama right there. This. Oh, big boy. Um, let's drop you. Grab this in the meantime. Um, now there is a Kodama right down there, but save it for just a moment. We're going to get him in just a second. First, we're going to drop here to grab this. We're going to loop again. Go this way. Pop this. here for poem number three. Now you're probably like, hold up, we got poem one and poem three. What about poem two? Poem two is in uh, the second main mission. So we now have this shortcut open as well. All right, so now we're gonna go back. This is Kodama number four. Kodama number five. And then Kodama number six is over that way. God. I got a little uh, excessive. That's okay. We can just enter this from the, the low angle. To be honest, I haven't tested it, so I'm not sure if all the stuff that is up above will try to drop down here. Oh man, that was that's bad. He will attack. All right. We're just going to run up and make this a little bit easier. So grab our stuff, go right here, and climb up. And now we'll drop down. Let's let us... I don't know what this guy thought he was doing, but... campus now.
loot. Now we can get Kodama number six. I'm not going to sit here and fight him all day if he doesn't want to show up. Alright, um, do 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 do. Them dead, we can hit this. But the shortcut kick down ladder. Anyway, Scampus and Narakabe. Yep, we got them. Um, wait, we didn't do. Uh, oh, no, that's right. I forgot about the hot spring. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. All right. Uh, for the hot spring, probably better because we got that shrine anyway. So, oh no. Should back them up so we can make our way here. This way, send down, and use the hot spring. I yeah, looked over at Poem 3 and hit hot spring down the ladder, back up top, and drop down. Anyway, now that we got the hot spring, we will just continue back over to that shrine where we were at. Uh, so coming up, the boss here is actually going to be a blast from the past. It's our uh, lightning friend from the first the uh, Mue or whatever. So uh, similar to then, he is weak to water, resistant to lightning. I'm actually going to pick up... Uh, we got that. What else do I need here? Portal flow is mostly garbage. Raijin's mostly garbage. Sign of the Cross 2 is good. Protection Talisman is good. So close. I'm just going to save that point. Um, do water. Uh, he's basically identical to the, the fight from the original. He obviously has moves that are considered like unblockables now, but and a bite that can kill you. Uh, but just like before, if you can knock him down and then get onto his stomach, you'll just tear him up. I think I'm going to switch up my Oni B core just to make this guy a little bit easier. There we go. Normally it's not something I would be that concerned with, but just given that I, uh, I can't use lightning at all, and that's one of my cheap go-tos, like thing is a little bit trickier and not having access to that. I'm also put on this so I don't get slowed down by lightning.
What a difference. It's amazing just having access to an element that my target is not immune to, and suddenly the fight immediately turns the tide. So his uh, uh, Soul Core, actually pretty good, it does a lightning AoE that'll do like a frontal arc to hit a bunch of enemies. So pretty solid choice there if you're looking for some good lightning damage. Take a look, as you can see, just flat lightning damage and shock accumulation. It's actually a really nice one. Wow, attunement cost. Uh, but to show the movie again, let me uh, go, go on over here and take a look at it. Yeah, if you if you are a fan of lightning builds, you will like this guy for sure. You can see the lightning kind of fans out, so pretty respectable damage there. Definitely a, a solid choice, which actually, given that I am using lightning, this would probably work him well with this build. Hmm. But then I'd have to give up my Kasha, and I love my Kasha so much. Instead, I'm going to put this guy back on over Fiery. There we go. All right, um, so Lost Sword and uh, Lower Retainer. Um, <laughs> I doubt I can knock both of these out super fast, so I think we're actually going to wrap things up here with Shadow's Creep, since that was a little bit longer one. Uh, the next two are shorter missions, so we'll knock both of those out in the next part, and then probably, if we still have time, uh, do a little bit of, of optimization with our gear. So either way, stay tuned. More of the walkthrough will be coming your way soon enough.